It's Thursday, August 1st, 2013, and this is the week in sneaks. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and there are quite a few things that are actually dropping tomorrow, one of which is the Reebok capsule with Packer shoes. You've actually seen this before many times here on the show, but they are finally actually going to go on sale tomorrow. That includes the jersey, the shoes, the hat, and the t-shirt. Everything releases at noon Eastern Standard Time at Packer Shoes at the brick and mortar shop, as well as PackerShoes.com. Pricing for the shoes is $160, the jersey is $300, and again, everything releases tomorrow, August 2nd. Last month, we got our first look at the Civilis Nike SB Dunk High, and I honestly thought that it was never going to make it to U.S. shores. However, that is not the case. I am happy to report that the model has made it across the pond and will be hitting premiere tomorrow, August 2nd. Inspired by Berlin's new national gallery, the Dunk High features a black and leather suede mix on the upper and a multicolored tongue. Again, look for this Nike Dunk High to release tomorrow, August 2nd at premiere at 11 a.m. And there's even more that's dropping tomorrow. It looks like Reebok is jumping all in with the Reebok Shaq Gnosis. Set to hit in the Orlando colorway, the model rocks a black and blue upper that takes us all the way back to when Shaq was a part of the magic, and I don't mean Kazam. The Reebok Shaq Gnosis Orlando drops tomorrow for $115. You guys probably thought I was kidding when I was saying there's a lot of stuff that's actually dropping tomorrow. Next up is Ronnie's ASIC Gel Light 3 Flamingos. These will be dropping tomorrow at 11 as well and feature a nice mix of gray and suede mesh on the upper. Of course, there is a hint of blue on the outsole and the liner and it couldn't be named Flamingo if there wasn't some pink mixed in there as well. These will be dropping exclusively at KipNYC.com as well as the KipNYC flagship store and will be priced at $150. When it comes to Jordan Retros, there's a group that says, man, there's been enough, and then there's also a group that says, man, there could be a little more. It looks like Soul Collector is in the latter group. Recently, well, actually today, they listed 10 Jordans that have yet to retro. I will not spoil it all, but the list does include a few models that I actually had forgotten about, like the College Blue 17 and the New York 10s. Since I don't want to spoil it all for you, I added a link to the story down in the description. And for the sneakerhead of the day today, I'm going with Billy R23. You can follow him over at Instagram. There's his name right there. Has a nice collection, but also has a lot of nice runners, and I'm kind of getting into runners, so I can appreciate that. Now, for those of you that want to be the sneakerhead of the day, all you have to do is follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram name is Cousteau, and make sure you use the hashtag WearYourKicks. Well, that is going to do it for the show today. But before I go, just want to let you guys know that the event that's happening with Blake that I'm involved with is the Google Plus chat. And it's going to go up on Wednesday of next week. So make sure you check that out. It's going to feature Yo Auntie. It's going to feature Nightwing. And it's also going to feature Kick Genius. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe. That way you know whenever something new is hitting here on this channel. Also, visit the links down in the description to give you the full stories of everything that I talked about today. Well, I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in sneaks and I will see you soon. Peace. What's up? Can I help you? What are you doing here? Oh, you were just watching the video? Oh, okay. Uh, well, all right, dude. I, I guess I'll talk to you later.